Hello and welcome to this Robocraft 2 guide on how to set up tank steering with wheels. Uh, what I mean by that uh, is instead of uh, turning your wheels to turn the robot, uh, you have one set of wheels moving a bit forward and the other set moving backwards and that makes the robot turn. So there's some benefit with that. For example, you can spin on the spot. Now this one does a spin very fast. It benefits from having a broad wheelbase actually when you have this type of steering. So anyway, I'm going to show all the logic step by step to set up this kind of steering and also how you can uh, make uh, a toggle mechanic so you can switch between uh, tank steering and normal steering whenever you want. Alright, let's go over to a look at the logic. So I started by removing all the connections between uh, the pilot chair and the wheels because we don't need that. So we know that if we want to turn left, we have to have these ones moving forward and these ones moving backwards and to turn right the other way around, right? So let's set up some logic here. I'm gonna do some connectors here. Like you don't really need this, but it makes it easier to see exactly what I'm doing. I'm gonna set the side map block here and here. Like the thing this does is just switch the side of the input. So I'm gonna connect the input here. So the idea here is of, uh, that this side, if uh, we have an input here, it should turn left. And on this side, if it's an input here, it should turn right. So we know that if it should turn left, this side has to move forward and get a positive input to acceleration. And the other side needs to move backwards. So that it should get a negative. So we're just gonna do that here. And then of course, the other way around, right? So this side, if it's gonna turn right, should get a positive input. And this side to move left, should get a negative input. So on the share, left is a negative output and right is a positive output. So all we need to do now is Tell the logic that the positive output, this one should be active, and on the negative output, this one should be active. There might be different ways to do it, but I find the easiest way is to set up a bit block here. And then we use the mat block less than, and the mat block greater than. So the way it works with the mat box is that if input A is higher than input B, then you will get a positive value, otherwise zero. So if input A, that is left, right, is plus one, that is greater than zero. Then this one should be active. Otherwise, nothing here. And if it's if input A is smaller than zero, then this one should be active. There we go. So now we've got the setup for going left and right. So let's try this out. So we can move left and right. We still can't really move forward, but we'll get to that. So there is one problem now if I would just connect this one directly to uh, the wheels. Connecting forward here directly to acceleration. Let's do that. Just to illustrate the point here. Let's jump into um, the test map. Standing still works fine, but it turns extremely slowly moving forward. And that's because they get conflicting inputs. They, the wheels, when turn, trying to both turn and going backwards, but also gets the input to go forwards. If I let go of the acceleration, however, and try to turn, it turns extremely fast. So what we need is some logic telling the system that if I'm actually turning, it should not go forward at the same time. So let's uh, remove this uh, connections directly to the acceleration. Now we know if any of these ones are active, we want it to not go forward. So let's set a not gate here. We can't use an AND gate because if we use an AND gate here, let's say we connect here the input uh, to, to this one, and this one now uh, and then we put um, oh sorry the output here 
and we put an output from the acceleration here forward backward and then we connect this one to acceleration on the wheels what will happen is we can on only get like a positive output which means we can't move backwards because backwards is a negative output so instead of an end gate here uh, we're gonna use uh, a multiplier block so we get the acceleration value times if you're not turning times uh, one and if you're turning times zero and connect that to acceleration so let's connect that everywhere acceleration and we got the other two wheels here all right so now the forward input on the wheels is disabled as soon as you need to turn or press to turn which means you can make really sharp turns uh, but of course the downside of this is that if you turn a lot you will lose speed since you don't really get forward at the same time as turning as you do with uh, normal steering. So a uh, way to solve this and get the best of both worlds could be to have a toggle between the two so you can shift between what type of steering you want at each given time. So let's build that. So the way we're gonna build that is with a toggle and we let's say we toggle this one with uh, space you can use any key of course that you want and then we want this uh, system to be on and off depending on the current state here so we want this toggle to decide if this system is switched on and off um, for that we need to check with the outputs from the pilot chair. We can't really do it with AND gates again because AND gates can only have a positive or zero value output and we both want negative and positive values. So instead we again gonna use uh, the multiplier block. We need two, one for backward forward and one for uh, left to right. Okay, so what we do is we're just gonna multiply this one with the output we want so in this case for this one we take the backward forward and then we need the one for left right as well all right so what we're gonna do now is replace the input here output here um here we go with this one and we're gonna remove this one and also put to this output and this output uh, going to go to uh, the input b there so now if this one is switched off, uh, this system should not be working. Let's try that out. Nothing happens when I click the keys and it shouldn't. Now we switch that to one and I can move and I can move forward. So it works. Now we just need to also set the standard to work if this one is zero. So it's gonna do pretty much the same thing, but this time we're just gonna use like a not gate um could use two bit blocks as well it gets the same 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 thing maybe we should do that that's kind of rather neat right so we're just gonna set this one to start with one and then we are gonna toggle this with the same button um you could also just connect this one to a not gate and get the exact same same solution so um and and the thing is here and then we need like some we need two mat blocks again um, now we do the input from this one here, one for forward backward and one left to right, and then we're going to connect uh, directly the forward forward backward here to one of these. We just need to remember which one and the left to right to the other one. So this is the left to right one, and then we connect the left right here to the wheels steering steering. Oh, it should be down here, right? And also steering. And steering. And then the other one, this one, was for forward drift. So we have to take that one to acceleration, right? All the four of them. And this one should be the last one. So now, with this little nice nest of different logic going back and forth, 
we should be able to have tank steering and then switch over with space to normal steering. Let's see if it works. So now you just drive normally. I should say I have done some settings on the wheels because I have a horizontally placed pilot chair inside this little slab. Uh, and now we're gonna switch to tank steering with space, which means we now don't use the wheel for driving. We can spin on the spot. And we can't go forward and turn at the same time. And with space we switch back to normal steering again. So that was all the guide, hope you found it useful. Um, I'm also planning to make a guide on how to build a better starting robot where I go step by step and touch on like many different subjects like armoring, steering, logic, uh, all throughout a whole build. Um, I'm not really done with that one yet though. Well, cheers!